Hey everybody, this is Bo again. Uh, I'm doing a uh, leather bookbinding tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be adding ribs to the spine of a, of a, a leather binding. Uh, so first thing, we have our piece of leather. Alright, so uh, I've already done my measurements for my liner and uh, my measurements for my outer cover. Uh, so I find my midline and I use the paint pen to mark this. I find my midline. This is a 16 and a half, uh, a 16 and a half wide uh, piece. 16 and a half, so my midline is eight and a quarter. And you can see the midline at eight and a quarter right there. And then I find my width of my ribs by looking at my book block. So my book block is, uh, my book block is one and a quarter inches. You can see it's right at one and a quarter. Uh, so I want to add another quarter inch to that because you're going to have an eighth of an inch hinge. So that gives me uh, one and a quarter plus a quarter gives me an inch and a half. So I add three quarters of an inch on either side of this midline. So I have the midline, I put it at three quarter and I go uh, uh, three quarter this way and then three quarter this way and that gives me marks for the edges of my ribs. So I have my center line and then the marks for the edges of my ribs and I actually make the gold pin outside so that the rib would fit completely inside this space. So uh, I've already cut and glued down uh, four of the five ribs. Uh, I've already cut and glued down four of the five ribs. Uh, and, and I do this, I'll have my, these are little leather shoestrings by the way. Uh, so I'll have it there and I'll measure inch and a half and then I mark it and then I cut it with my scissors. So that's where I get uh, the pieces of leather. So uh, now I have to glue this one down on my mark. So I made underneath these four ribs are marks just like this one, okay? Uh, so I went ahead and glued these three down. So I've got this piece cut, uh, everything's measured. Now this is the spacing I typically do. I'll go an inch and a half from the end on, on top and bottom, and then an inch and a half from that, uh, from each one of those marks, and I have one right in the center. That's just kind of what I typically do. Uh, that's I call that the two, one, two rib uh, setup. So, um, so now I just need to glue down this rib and then I'll work on tooling it in. Before I do the tooling, I wanna to show you some of my tools and I'll take the camera. I wanna show you some of my tools here. Uh, these are, this is a little chisel that I use. Uh, I'll actually, I really won't tool this. I'll hold one side of the rib. Uh, these are some little uh, tools I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, these uh, uh, real leather tools. Uh, this is the blade tool and modeling spoon. That's this one. Uh, I got this other one that looks like it has a little pointy end, uh, like an owl or whatever. Uh, that's uh, helpful. And then I've got my bone folder, and you'll need a uh, a tooth. I mean, a Q-tip. And this is this says stitch glue, uh, but it's not. I, I've used this up and refilled it with this uh, PVA book binding glue. It's just a little easier to use in this little small container. So. Uh, now you kind of know the tools. I'm going to glue this little rib down and then I'll put some glue around each one of these and I'll use a piece of, of uh, wax paper. Now this is one I've reused um, as long as you, you can reuse them until they get too many of these holes in them. But uh, I'll put a piece of wax paper over it and then flip it over and I'll start tooling. So I'm going to go ahead and do that try to get it all done uh, with one take. All right, so... Uh, the piece of leather, I'm going to uh, take my glue and I'm just going to put a dab on here and kind of just drag it down because really this is just going to hold it in place while I'm tooling. That's the only real reason why I'm uh, gluing them down. So I, you can see I'm putting this completely over that gold spot and it's fitting right up to that line on both sides. I'm going to try to straighten them out. Now I could use a straight edge, 
but for the most part as long as they're not really really long ribs uh, you can do this by eye uh, so you can see there it's it's pretty much straight right there and I press it down to kind of squeeze the glue out and I'm straightening it up just a little bit so now it's pretty straight there and all these are done the same way now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this glue and kind of I'm not going to put a ton but I'm just going to go around it uh, one swipe on each side and I'll use a q-tip to kind of push it into those crevices so you can see I'm going around each one of these It's actually probably a little more glue than I normally would use. This this glue is, I'm putting this around this because it's going to hold uh, that tooling secure for, you know, forever. So I'm going to go around these with this Q-tip just to make sure all the glue gets on the side of this rib. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to do each one of those like that really quickly. And uh, normally I'll, I go a little slower, uh, but that's why I went ahead and had some of these glued down. Um, anyway. I want to get it around all, every end. Because really this, this leather is going to be, uh, the leather is going to be uh, stretched over these ribs. And you want that leather to stick to the side of the ribs. That's the whole reason for this. So now we've got our glue down and our ribs are glued in where I want them. I just wanted to stress the, the measurements so that you're ensuring that they're centered properly. So now I'm putting my wax paper over the area. Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna flip it over. Now, okay, so here's what I'll do. What I normally do is I kind of massage the area just to just to work them in, I'll uh, take my fingers and and on both sides and just kind of push down over it. And I'll do all five of these like this, just to kind of give give myself a good idea of where these ribs are. So when I when I start tooling, I'm not going to miss and and tool the wrong bit of grain. So now you can see where these uh, these ribs are. All right, so now we can see them. I'm gonna turn it at an angle that works better for me. So you can see this is a nice purple goat skin, really pretty. Uh, I start using this. I start using this, this uh, bone folder, and I'll just put my finger either, either I'll turn it sideways like this and put my fingers over the whole rib, and I'll start working one side down. So, I know some guys use heat. They'll use a they'll use a uh, like a they'll heat up a chisel. But but usually, uh, and every every leather uh, tools a little differently. Every leather's grain is a little different. But you can see this edge already formed right there, just from just a light little bit of tooling with this uh, this. Uh, bone folder okay so I'm going to turn around now and I'll use this chisel to hold that that edge that I just got and then I'll, I'll actually push this side down because if you don't hold that other side of the edge you'll just roll this back over so I'm going to I'm going to hold that edge with this chisel and and use this bone folder to kind of stretch that leather over that rib so you can see how that's working out there and I'll move it down a little bit. And you're not using a lot of pressure with this chisel. You're just pushing down slightly just to hold it in place. So you can see how it's really forming a nice, a nice, uh, a nice line there. So you can see it has a nice line. So I'm gonna go around the sides or the ends and just press down because we're wanting to just stretch it over. All right, so we've got a nice little rounded end there. And I'm gonna do this side. 
just I just push down lightly and I can use these other tools if the grain was a little more uh, frustrating and didn't want to tool well I can use uh, like this little tool it's got a little finer point to it and it'll get I'll have to go several additional times you know around this area but it'll get a lot finer detail uh, tooling right there so and I can still do that with this tool as well and this little spoon end face it downward and it gives a nice little edge too uh, and I can I don't have to flip it over to do the other side so you can see how I do that one rib and then I can use that spoon in to just roll it around this other side so these tools you can really use these tools in in several different ways it's really nice so you can see how I tooled that rib in has a nice little uh, definition and I'm gonna go ahead and, and work on these others. Uh, but they all go about the same way. Uh, some guys will take like this chisel or something like uh, this end, uh, this uh, this little end and they'll heat that up and it'll actually, uh, it'll actually give you a little more definition. I just haven't found the need to do that. I can usually get a decent amount of definition uh, using this method. Uh, but one thing that really helped me when I started out doing this, or one thing that really helped me as I learned, was using this chisel to hold one side. Because I would always push down and it would roll this leather over and actually loosen this side up. So you were com continually fighting a battle of, uh, of this leather, uh, never really wanting to stretch. So you have to actually hold both sides to effectively stretch the leather over the rib uh, to get the definition you're wanting. So anyway, that's uh that's basically it. Uh, and I would do I'll do all four the rest of these in the same manner, uh, and then I'll just check make sure they're straight, which they do, they look pretty straight. Uh, but that's that's basically the the definition you'll get from that. All right, um, once. This is done, and so that, that one looks pretty decent. I'll probably go around it a couple more times uh, just to uh, just to check it out. You're going to do the same thing if you ever do any raised, uh, raised artwork on the cover. You'd make a model out of leather, glue it to the underside just like I did with these ribs, and you'll use the same kind of techniques. You'll, you'll hold one side, tool the other side, hold this side, tool that side, and until you get that kind of definition around your uh your raised like if you did a raised cross or something on the on the cover uh so once that's done you let it sit I always let it sit for at least an hour and then you when you pull this you see how the glue sep uh, surrounded around that rib uh that'll turn clear when that turns clear you can pull it off and then it should hold uh if you pull it off too early uh you'll actually separate that that leather from the rib, you'll still have some definition, but it, it won't hold uh, that definition uh, for as long as as long as you want to. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's that's basically the tutorial. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, if you want to see any other tutorials, uh, please let me know in the comments. And I'll I'll try to make this. I've, people have been requesting this tutorial for. Uh, a long time and I'm finally getting a chance to uh, make it and uh, so if you have any others uh, that you want to see like I've already done a tutorial about I had to add cording to this uh, glued text block I've got a tutorial about that and uh, cutting leather here's another one over here where I've already cut leather for this other matching Bible um, so anyway uh, there's there's more tutorials coming. Uh, sorry, they're a little hard to get out in time. So anyhow, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a book binder and uh, you're learning how to book bind. Uh, share share your tricks of the trade or or uh, subscribe and you can learn whatever I can teach you. So uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and God bless.